special welding Crocs on today. <laughs> looking good. Uh, it's looking okay. Mostly just trying to fill in a lot of the stuff we had to grind out of there to move that ball joint sleeve. So the uh, we made this arm on a jig for another car. It didn't quite fit the pocket spacing for our car, so I had to move one of the control arm bushings. But we'll let that cool off. We'll put this on and we'll be good to go. <laughs> But I did clock them in there so that the grease fittings will line up good underneath the car. Oh, that'll make it easier. Yep. Yep. I think these bushings from Weir's take grease a little bit better too, right? Because it lines up the grease fitting with that little step in the, uh, the plastic part of the bushing, right? So you get that kind of deal. And that makes it easier to push grease in there keep everything lubricated so we're kind of picky about that stuff I think compared to the steel ones these are a little bit cleaner and then lining everything up good make sure that they don't bind so yeah we lined it up right in the car and tacked that sleeve in there and then pulled it out and welded it just to make sure that it's lined up correctly and then we use a uh, tool like that uh, not only to check the frame but to check other control arms so for example the control arm that came out of the car which you can probably see how much this is bent up how high that is compared to that so that was obviously better. but also we'll put our straight bar through here you want to make sure that that fits in nice and smooth and you can see it doesn't it pushes the it pushes that out so it's I mean, you could force that through there but that's that's not correct right so the fact that it won't uh, freely go through there means that those are slightly bent as well so you got to watch for that I mean it's not awful like I said you could force that in there but that's that's not what you want to do. So, main reason, like I said, that we took this out is because it was bent at this end. Um, so yeah, time for a fresh control arm. Well, there it is in the car um, with the bolts tight and everything, and, and that's what you want is a nice free moving uh, control arm. If you let go of that control arm and it sticks at any point, uh, that's a bind. It's probably a uh, misalignment in uh, your bushings or something sticking in the bushings. So that's kind of what we're after with a nice straight control arm. I want this section to be straight, um, straight ish. They usually bend right in here just from the load over time. Uh, and it'll stretch that, that material right there to, to curl up on the ends. So lots of information out there. Don't take my word for it. But uh, there we go, control arm replacement ready to go. I'm going to button this back up, and uh, we can get to where we align everything and uh, get back on track soon. Thanks for watching.